Welcome back, everybody, to Season 2 of Two Idiots Franchise at MLB The Show. Let's see what we get into today. All right, so here we have a situation where we're looking to upgrade the roster. And one of the things that we've been missing critically is power. Uh, power and consistency, uh, and maybe the second one even more so. And so with that in mind, Michael Chavis has been struggling. Jackson Rutledge and Tanner Rady are not putting up bad numbers. But if we're looking to upgrade and make a serious run this year, then we're going to talk acquisitions one more time so far. And we have our eye on Ryan Mountcastle, first baseman with the Orioles, making $1.7 million, which is a steal for a guy of his quality and his attribute lines. Uh, Ryan Mountcastle um, should fit exactly what our needs are at first base. We're going to have the swap there. Um, we're going to dump Jackson Rutledge and Tanner Rainey and actually come out on top salary-wise in this trade for Ryan Mountcastle. Which just feels weird to say. <laughs> oh, definitely, it's it's really odd that that Castle isn't making more than uh, than the one point seven mil. But you know, hey, I'll I'll take the uh, even if he was making more, I still think the trade's worth it. Even if we were coming in on the losing end of the money, yeah. I mean, Chavis Chavis is not a bad player by any means, but it's just the fact that he's been struggling this year, not putting up any numbers, and. Uh, Jackson Rutledge and Tanner Rainey. I mean, we don't need another closer. Um, those guys aren't even getting a lot of playtime, even in the minors. So um, I don't think we're really losing. We are going to have to uh, pick up a couple uh, free agents just to fill a couple spots so the roster is full. But I think this is a, a trade that we uh, we can make. Yeah, and they're definitely interested in making the deal. So it looks like it's going to go through. So this is one of those also... Um, that we have not had animosity against any of our players in this trade. I know with uh, the beginning of the series, you know, we were vicious oh, yeah. in speaking trades, but uh, <laughs> there's really no nothing wrong with, um, you know, Chavis per se. It's just, yeah, we need to uh, capitalize. And we have done just that. So Ryan Mountcastle, welcome to the Nationals. God, we have really really have on paper you know one of the best teams in baseball now and where we are above 500 yep and because of that series with the marlins now we're tied with them three games behind first and we are well into the mix of it fellas yeah. this looks pretty good so far compared to what we were seeing last year i mean five and five in our last ten is not where we really want to be considering the marlins but nine and one in their last but yeah, That's all right. well, the, the Phillies are also stumbling just a little bit, a but little overall bit. in April, let's see, we had 16 wins, so we won most of the games in April. Yeah. It wasn't, wow. a, wasn't a bad start to the season. I mean, we started pretty rough with two losses in the season, but then we, <laughs> we kind of turned around, won four in a row, lost yeah. five in a row. <laughs> On three in a row. Yeah, really, you know. the biggest stumble that we had was that series versus the Marlins. You know, we got swept by the Dodgers in early April, but I kind of expected that. You know, yeah, the Dodgers. So I mean, yeah, sure. But going against Miami, that was a that was a tough run. Yeah, for us, for us to take those losses. But uh, we are now heading into May. Yep, and maybe this will be a better month. All right, head into head into May and starting a two game. Hey, wait now. Oh yeah, we no, already no, won. We yeah, we won. Yeah, we won yeah. the first game in Atlanta. Now we're heading into game two, and yeah. George Kirby's pitching. I kind of want to watch a George Kirby game. Yeah, and the fact He's that got, we got 30, 37 innings with a less than three ERA. I mean, yeah, the win loss is a little great rough so far. Yeah. All right, so for the first day of May, we step into game two versus Atlanta. We picked up the first game in the That's series. We're going to be going against Spencer Strider today. That's going to be a tough nut to crack. T.J. Abrams leading off, and he's been one of the few mostly consistent guys to start off this year in 2024. Oh, Ooh. he's got wheels. Leg it out. He's got yes. wheels. Yes, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Easily, C.J. Abrams. 
infield base hit. Nice. There we go. Mount Castle immediately boosting our team's overall average at 313 right now. Nice. Oh. Stupidly going around up top. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh. Well, a uh, wet part of a debut for Mount Castle on <laughs> the Nationals. <laughs> yeah, he didn't. Uh, he didn't do anything exciting there. No, that's all right. We got a lot of baseball left to play. Everybody being pretty aggressive here earlier in the count. <laughs> well, Strider throws strikes, so. At least in real life been, he does. They've been swinging at the ones that aren't striking. <laughs> <laughs> get excited up at eye level. Manessa's being one of the other people that have been uh, pretty consistent for us so far. Oh. Rocking a 294 average. He's just straightening that out just a little bit. Now we're starting to see some of these guys finally settle in, and those averages are starting to come up a little bit. Uh, one of the guys, of course, was Lane Thomas, uh, now hitting over 200, despite the absolutely pathetic, laughable start to the year that he's had. So some of the guys are starting to wake up. Uh, Manessis is not at this at bat. Wow. No, what the hell was that? He thought he was on the golf course or something. Yeah, that seemed to be. I mean, Strider's a tough pitcher, but Jesus, don't give it, don't make it easy. Yeah, <laughs> Teoscar is currently leading the RBIs for the Nationals. Come on, oh, what was wrong with that? <laughs> God damn! Two-time All-Star in twenty-one and twenty-three. Oh, and that goes to right center. Is it going to hit the gap? No. no, it's dragged in. Pickle Harris is second out there controlling mm -hmm. center field. One of the real reasons we wanted to watch this game here was George Kirby, who has so far for us emerged triumphant, throwing up some fantastic stats and uh, really being, you know, extremely impressive with his play so far this year. Ball, that pitch is up. That was borderline. Yeah. Not get the call on that close. One. Yeah. Plugs that in right at the bottom of the zone. Ball. Close. Really just testing the discipline here in the first at bat versus Michael Harris. Ooh, that was a beautiful. Ooh. Nails the bullseye on the dartboard on that corner. And that'll do it. Michael Harris, frozen like Elsa at the plate, strikes <laughs> out. <laughs> oh, good pitch there. Two leadoff guys are hitting over 340. Ouch. Jesus. Let's see if Kirby has something to say about that. Oh, a nasty curveball. Oh, that was right up sick. Oh, that. that goes to center without much movement. Should be brought in for out number two. Pretty much right to the Oscar there. Yep. Fucking Austin Riley's third to third to third hitter sitting over 300 as well. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, this seems to be an offense that has not needed to wake up so far this year. Uh, despite all of that, they are only playing 500 baseball, so got to wonder what's going on in Atlanta these days. I'm not sure their pitching has been letting them down because the averages definitely lead to, you figure, their production to be a lot higher. Wow, another nasty curveball. Kirby on display through the first inning. Shohei's waking up a little bit now. That average just under 250. Yeah, he had a rough start at the start of the season as well. Yep. 
But, man, how exciting was that to see our first Shohei home run live, huh? Oh, man, that was nice. <laughs> Ooh, 100 just off the plate. Holy shit. Yeah. That's her scary, man. That's a that's a that's a pucker right there. Mm-hmm. Oh. oh, it was close. Shohei evens the count up 2-2. Two, two. Wow. Even Strider's laughing at that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that Otani swung at that. Oh, God. Hey. Matt, I forgot how to hit Chapman. Yeah. Just four home runs already, though. But he well, he's, fucking hit under those 200. Count. Shit. Yeah. Woo. One ball. Stay out of Ooh. the way there. But she didn't yeah, swing luckily. at it. <laughs> kind of would have rather him taking the shot. Get on base. What do you got? Ooh. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, down the first base line. Oh, I thought that was going to sneak <sighs> through, but it pulled in. Vaughn only hitting 219. Another one of our hitters on the cold streak. Yep. Yeah, it sure is. We don't need all the boys to be hot at once, but man, can we just get like not three of our hitters cold? That'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, their fucking fourth hitter is hitting over 300. Yep. Holy shit, what a lineup. I know, man, they're stacked. Now we only are in them against a... Uh three-game series right now. Oh. oh, that'll get into left field. Brought in quickly, though, maybe preventing two. And it will, luckily, because that throw was way off. Yeah. That is good. All right, so Acuna gets on first to lead off the second for Atlanta. Mm, finally, someone was there to 300 average. I was just bit, uh, but just about to say, man, <laughs> finally a chip in the armor that we can see. Uh, 240 average looks pretty low in comparison now. Look, or as uh, with us, that would look pretty I think, good. <laughs> I think Luke's uh, pretty much a swing for the fences kind of guy. Yeah, it could be. That fucking batting that, stand. I was going to say, he's oh. lifting that leg. <laughs> Holy shit. Is he trying to kick it into the strike zone? He's either really trying to put some go. power into that or he's squeaking one out before that pitch comes in. Bit of both. Stanky leg stance by Luke Voigt. Wow, That's he was hilarious. fucking late as hell on that. I put the driver down and pick up a baseball bat, boy. Oh, no. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's going for three there. Looks like he'll yeah. make it. Yeah, wow. All right, so that some trouble good. now for Kirby no, as we are deep in the stretch. Men on the corners with no outs. This is a tough nut to crack. He's a pop-up. Yeah. A really, really shallow pop-up. <laughs> yeah. That and then a double play. Let's get out of this. Two balls, no strikes. That's a ball. Oh, oh, man. This, this guy's hitting a no lot lower than the other guys. Don't pitch around him. Thank you. <laughs> yep. Let's get something high and inside. Try to tie him up and pop him. Well, high and outside, but it work as we fill the count now. 3 2. Oh, Mount oh. Castle. Oh. Had a chance for two, but fumbles it, and he'll take one at first, advance the run in the second, and the first run of the game comes in. Atlanta cuts first against us, and it's now 1-0. Nope. That's inside. We're just going to take that Mount Castle issues to nerves on the new team. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. 
Nope, that's off the plate. And Kirby plate. loves that cold ball. Yeah, cold ball. Curve ball, and it's a good one. Just can't seem to place it as well as he would like right now. Which has led to some, some deep counts. Racer number seven here is just about hitting 300. Yeah. Come on, Kirby. Oh, fouling off those fastballs, making me nervous. Jeez. We need a we need a uh, a ground out to third. Oh, strike it even better. Oh, there we go. Strike out even better. Yep. All right, only one left to get to get us out of the second. Oh, there's that good curve ball. Get it, Garcia. There we go. And that'll end it. All right, so the Braves strike first. They get one. We've got to hold them to it. Mm. Here, what he was waiting for there. Yeah, probably just worried about grounding that one. Ball one. He's played his entire career with us. So far. <laughs> we'll see. Hitting, oh, man. Hitting 211. I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, right back to Spencer. It'll be a swinging bunt for out number one. All right, Kabert. Yeah. Also wow, hitting 211. Four and run so far, though. Oh, and got a just, pitch to hit, but can't do much oh, with it. They're just pumping everything right over to the the right side of the field here. Yeah. Hey, Abrams elects to watch the first pitch here, right down the middle. Yeah, it was. Uh, that was a pitch to hit for sure. Oh, that's inside. Backs him up a little bit with that slider inside. <sighs> oh, back. Thought that was getting through, but he ain't gonna, he he get, he ain't gonna outrun that. <laughs> no. All, right. All right. So a non top of the inning for us. Really nothing happening. That was a quick one, two, three. Yep. Hey. Good curveball. That curveball is nasty. The Kirby curve, man. Big swing and a miss. Let's see if we can get out of this inning rather quick, too, and give Kirby some rest after that long second inning. Oh, that's up there. Oh. oh, man. Leaves the curveball in there and it gets touched into right field. Up next for Atlanta, the center fielder, Michael Perez. Ooh. Man. Fuck, put that right down the middle. He swung. Kirby got away with that one. Missed. Jesus. Yeah, it's not often that you'll get that result right there. Not with the hitter of his talent. Ball. What? Oh, come on, Blue. One ball, one <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Pitch is nasty. Yeah. Dude, if he's got good placement on that. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Wow, kneecapped him. Wow. 
the pitch came so far in and it was so fast it looked like uh, Michael Harris was giving us a little bit of the river dance there trying to avoid it. Hey. Nails him up top. Kirby again. And Michael Harris uh, is channeling Michael Flatley. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that curveball is great. It's just, man, it's got to be, it's got to be right on. Yeah, it does. It's got so much break. It's a great pitch. Kirby loves to use it, but got to put it in the right places. Look out, boys! <laughs> <laughs> Heads up. No, he's in. A little bit of a pitch over. Hey, still, still remember you're there. Don't worry. <laughs> Uh oh, he was going for it. Oh no! Oh! No! Wait, the that is into a catastrophic double play. That was awesome. Wow. That was nice to see. I kind of can't believe that just happened. I know. First time we've seen that. Nope. Yeah. Wow. That's the kind of shit I do when I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when it goes deep, and I'm like, oh, yeah, that's landed, and I just start circling the bases. <laughs> yeah. They throw it back to first while my guy's on third, and I'm like, god damn it. <laughs> yep. I got a ball, one strike. Wow. Castle. Yeah, Mount Castle in the top 10 for OPS out of everybody. That's ball three. All right, staying alive, two and two. Oh, no. No way. Woo. Okay. Oh, oh good circle chain. Low it's it outside. on the other side of the plate. Yeah, can't begrudge a good pitch. Hey! Yes, but as that was a strike. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all right with them taking one pitch, you know. Like, I, I tend to do that. I'll wait for a strike in every first oh, at-bat when I play. Uh, and that's just to make sure that I'm I'm not giving them okay. one pitch outs. You know what I mean? Right. After one, I'll see what happens. So I'll typically take it no matter where it is uh, almost every time. He's out. Just to ensure that that the pitch count is still going to climb, and uh, it helps me get a little bit of a feel for the hey. timing. Why are they constantly letting that first pitch fastball go? He's pumping yeah, one know, right AI in there is... for a strike, and they're just watching it every time. Yeah, they're not normally as patient as I am. Like I said, my one one strike thing is uh, completely intentional. All right, Tay Oscar, do something for us in the fourth here. Ball. <laughs> <That's ball three. laughs> the fans are great. <laughs> I can't this ball. Oh. Climbing back now, full count. Oh. Oh, I couldn't even let that one go. <laughs> yeah, I know. Swing at the bad pitches, you dumbass. <laughs> oh. Oh, not even close. Come on, man. <sighs> Tough to All watch. Right. <laughs> yeah, through uh, through the top of the fourth, we've done nothing except Chavis's, uh not Chavis, I'm sorry. Uh, Abrams, accidental single. We'll start off the fourth. <laughs> the bottom of the fourth with a double. And more trouble for Kirby. Oh. <laughs> he was saying, make sure you blow on my soup, Ma. Can't eat it when it's too hot. You know that. I love you. <laughs> I want warm soup, not hot soup. Yeah. 
I'm gonna be able to eat it and not burn my lips. Mm -hmm. Alright, O2 versus Acuna. Yep, that ball went That's out. not gonna do it. Let's see one of those curveballs. Low and outside. Come on, Kirby. Don't let this mustard ketchup man beat us. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hamburglar. <laughs> <laughs> that is such a mustard shade of yellow. I know. It's unbelievable. <clears throat> All right, that looks Get to be there. shallow center. Should hopefully be enough to hold him. Yeah. It will. And luckily so, because that was a wild throw. It's a little better arm than that. All to... right. Stanky oh, leg no. Voight is back. <laughs> That's such a nonchalant, like, just kick the leg out so he could just rip at the ball. It's just such uh -huh. a fucking, like, just like, yeah, I'm just going to do this. <laughs> you think there's an actual philosophy behind it? You know, is Voight one of those guys that can fart on command and maybe he's trying to get in the catcher's head <laughs> we'll get in the catcher's nostrils anyway <laughs> <laughs> cause a wild pitch <laughs> one ball two strike yeah, all the goes to catch a pitch and just <laughs> and then misses it yeah fucking pass ball fucking yeah. voids farts <laughs> gas out the umpire get favorable counts because they just want him away from the plate yeah we'll just walk him <laughs> just get him out of here god <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we now have out number two with a runner on third. Kirby so far still has pitched a really good game. Yeah, it hasn't been bad at all. Oh! Wow, he is chasing. racking up some strikeouts, too. Got him chasing. All right, it is time to wake up, people. <laughs> Top of the fifth. No, that's down. Time for everybody to put the eye drops in, stretch, mm -hmm. do a couple warm-up hops out of the dugout, get the blood flowing. Get, get another mouthful of sunflower seeds and big league chew gum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow! There we go. So he legs it out. Nice. Just casually with an infield single, yeah. okay. All right, now we got Matt. I forget to hit Chapman again. Yep. Chappy. Ooh, Ooh. Luckily held back there. Dang. One for four with a double in the series so far. Yep. Can he go two for five? There's a cookie in it for you. <laughs> Matt oh, Chapman yeah. likes cookies. <laughs> there we go. In the right field. Ooh, so that was a pinpoint throw to third. Yeah. So he's got major speed, but I'm glad he held that one. Yeah. Chapman's right, celebrating so like he's done something big. We could be in business. No, he just likes cookies. Oh, yeah. Right. We could be in business here at the top of the fifth. With the two lead men on and Stephen Kwan. But a high clutch to take over here. Oh! oh! One take one for the team. Right in the spine. And that'll load the bases for Luis Garcia, who also has incredible clutch ratings. So we see our best opportunity thus far against Atlanta in game two right now. Oh. oh, I got a little excited on that. Yeah. It didn't sound like a home run, but it sounded like it was strong enough to get into a gap somewhere. He's only hitting 125 at runners and scoring this year, though. Oh, my Oh, oh no. Garcia. That was ugly. All right. To the shoulders of Kabert. Oh, that's awesome. 
hitless in the series thus far. Never a better time to get that first one. Ooh, popped up, but that should be deep enough to bring in Shohei. Come home for the tie, baby. Nice. Yes! All right, so Caver does the job with a sacrifice fly to center for out number two and bring home tying run. Yeah! At least it wasn't the first pitch fastball you watched that time. <laughs> yeah. Abrams to right field, but looks easily playable on the warning track. And it will be, so the fifth is done. But we have tied the game now. Nice. There you go. That's a good cutter. With Kirby's ERA being what it is, his win-loss being one and three is just so weirdly lopsided. <laughs> yeah, I would say it's um, it's because of that cold streak the offense has been on. Yeah. Well, you know, that's where the, the win-loss is going to come from. We need runs in order to get wins, and we haven't had them. No. Ball two. So if he's not Triple shutting them out, then that's strike. an opportunity for them to win, and unfortunately that's been the case on Kirby's part so far. But yeah, his ERA has been phenomenal. And in this game too, he's not giving up many hits. And uh, he's racking up the strikeouts as well. And we'll add another one to that tally. Yeah, even the big swingers to first this lineup, the guys with the threats, he's been handling them fairly well. Yep. Wow, beautiful cutter. You can't do nothing with the pitch up there either. Yeah, pretty much. Inside and high, you just foul it up. You could do a lot with that one. Let's not go there, Kirby. Yeah. Outside, that's a ball. And that curve ball leading outside. Come on. One and two is a good time for it. That was not it. That's some soft-ass contact there. Yeah. Ooh, there's a curve, but in a bad spot as it goes to the gap in left center field. Off the wall. Hey, Oscar will throw it to the cutoff man, and that's two, Sean. See? Still reminding Ma about the soup. <laughs> <laughs> It's like every time he gets a double, he gets a bowl of soup. I think that's what it is. <laughs> he's serving up my soup, bitch. <laughs> he's not talking to his mother that way. He's just talking to the soup person. Right, yeah. Yeah. The soup slinger. Oh, a little dribbler over to second for an easy second out. That will advance the run of the third, and we're in another familiar situation here. Kirby hasn't had very many easy innings. No, not when his pitch count already up in the 80s. Yeah. That was the 80s pitch right there. He's been getting out of the jams by and large. Only one run allowed, but yeah, working harder than he needs to. But against this lineup... You know, I, I'll take right now the line that he's got. Aye. There is an intimidating amount of high averages here in the lineup for Atlanta this year. And Michael Harris is hitting three Tamit runners and scoring, so. Yeah. He's a threat everywhere. And that curveball again. Slightly early on that. Wow, Kirby nails it on the outside again. Man. I love his enthusiasm with those strikeouts, too. Yep. Popped off the man. Yep, he feels it. Hey. All right, Castle, pretend you're playing against the Blue Jays. <laughs> because every time he plays against the Blue Jays, he fucking hits home runs. 
hate Ryan Mountcastle for that reason. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got to learn to love him in this series now. That's, he's that's ours. right. Well, shit. <laughs> All right, count evens up against Mount Castle, two and two. Oh man, good contact, but still early. And again. Drive up that pitch count. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. Get Strider out of there. Full count. Excellent. Oh! oh, and there it is from the full count. Mount Castle says, what's up, baby? <laughs> A gift for the fans in left field as Mount Castle registers home run number seven on the year and his first out of the park ball for Washington. Nice. Fucking no doubt here. And Mount Castle gives us with the lead now, two to one. Oh, Menezes is trying to repeat it, but with an ugly swing. Yeah, that was a little rough. Hey. Great slider there. That, that is a great slider. Spencer Slider. <laughs> Spencer Strider, do you want to be a national? <laughs> <laughs> I, Dude, think... I would. Well, I talked about getting Strider. Are we you just, kidding? Me? We just couldn't. He's, it, yeah, he's too we damn good. About it. Yeah, I know. They wouldn't give him up. No. Teoscar, well hit to center, but directly to him. Center fielder to center fielder there. Yep. We All come right. back to Shohei. Ooh, big hit. All right, Mr. 30 million. <laughs> <laughs> 35, wasn't it? I think so, yeah, 35 mil. Nope. Oh, Ooh, wow. that was close. Surprised that wasn't a strike. That's a ball. Yeah. 2-1. Strider now cresting 80 pitches. Ooh, well hit, but infield right at him. Got him. And that'll do it for the top of the sixth. Wow, great replay for Mount Castle there. Another look at that Mount Castle's tower. That's an shot. awesome view. I like that. Yeah. Wow. That ball. Wow. Swinging on the first pitch. Luckily, that goes foul for us. Let's see if we can get six out of Kirby. One ball, one strike. I hope we can. Repeat last inning. Shouldn't be a problem. Oh, beautiful curve, man. Give us one more outside. Oh. The ball boy wasn't even looking at the fucking elbow. <laughs> Sauntering away. Wow, another strikeout. Kirby might be close to double digits now. I've lost count. Yeah, I'm not sure where he's at, but yeah, the strikeouts have been flying here. Oy. Luckily, that one went foul. Oh, to right. Falls in just short of the warning track, and looks like it most likely will be two, and it will be a standing double for Austin Riley. Not quite sure what that was all about, but chopping wood after the game. Oh, maybe. That's a ball. I don't know. All right, and we're right into the heart of the order now as Acuna comes up to bat with one out. Fouled off in the left. Starting to see a little more of those, you know, those power hits that are going foul. Yeah. Getting out in front of those and driving them into the 
into the bleachers. I'd rather have them go into the foul line of the bleachers. <laughs> yeah. Kirby can't place that curveball in a more enticing spot, so the count evens up at two and two. Three. There it is. Cutter low and inside for another strikeout. Man. Nope. Ball one. Ooh. Misses the first strike, the stanky leg. <laughs> Way late on that one. Yeah, working on his golf swing there. Fucking think he's oh. happy, Gilmore. <laughs> that was a pretty good slider, but yeah, just a little too high. Fouled off in the left. That was pitch number 100. And the count's even at two and two. Come on, Kirby. All right, that'll do it. Over to Mount Castle at first. And we're through six now with the lead, two to one. That might be the final inning for Kirby. Oh. Well, in any event, it's the final inning for Strider as they bring in Joe Jimenez. Jimenez. Wow, right-handers are hitting well against him. Yep. His ERA is pretty good, but not great. Only eight innings played. We'll see what happens here. Ooh, gets a friendly call. Yeah, that was a full ball with over the fucking line. What the hell was that, umpire? Now, I know Chapman's already got his cookie from his last hit, but what's better than one cookie? Two cookies. Two cookies. Come on, Chapman. That's a ball. 1 0. -oh. That was a pretty good slider. Yeah, those sliders are tough. You just usually drill them in the ground. Yeah, that's one of my weaknesses, man. Sliders low and away. Oh. Funny enough, that's actually one of Chapman's real life weaknesses. Yeah. That's a tough ass pitch, man. Yep, it is. Ball two. Ooh. Two two to count. This guy sucks against right handed batters, so fucking light him up. <laughs> oh no. Fools Chapman on that. Fastball. This 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 joke will be lost on you probably, but man, he's colder than Chapman's ice cream. <laughs> It is lost, but I'll still chuckle. Wow, Quan hits a deep in the center field. Back to oh. the morning track and brought in. That warning track power. Yeah, in, in Canada, we have an ice cream brand called Chapman's. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's awesome. So. Oh, I have to end of the oh, bat. No. Drop, drop, yeah. drop, drop, drop. No. Blooped it. And that was a oh. very quick top of the seventh. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us. For the tradition. Ladies and gentlemen. All right, so both teams opting for a pitcher now, change. We bring in Jonathan Hernandez, who this season has been a little concerning. I know we're only 6.2 innings played with him, but yeah, that ERA was skyrocketed from his first couple uh, appearances. Now, last year, he was stellar for us, so we don't expect this kind of a play to continue. Aye. We're looking for good things from Jonathan Hernandez, and I would like to see it now versus Atlanta in game two. Let's clinch this series. Keeping him off balance with that sinker there, coming in at 95. Ooh, there's an inside pop-up. Playable for Caber. Nice and easy. Yep. Hernandez gets a first out and three pitches. Ball one, no strike. Yeah, that's not going to do it. No, Matt Olson, so we're going to hit her to chase that shit. There you go. Sinker at 96 low in the zone. God, that's so tough. 
That's Bolton. Oh, 97 and doesn't get the call on it. That was ass. That was beautiful, though. The pitch was great. The call was bad. Yeah. <laughs> All right, falling behind now, 3-1. and one. Wow, another beautiful sinker. Gets the call on that one, luckily for us. And count goes full to Matt Olson. Oh. Uh, tried to backdoor slider, but it's a little too far out. We'll take that walk. <laughs> Run around on that sinker. <laughs> oh! oh! Wow, couldn't get him at second. It was just out of reach, but what a great defensive play at second base. Good job, Garcia. Garcia to pull that in and get one. <laughs> Love the effort, man. He almost could have rolled over and tagged the base. Yeah, just about, or waited a second to... Hit him in the knee. Yeah, it was so close. Getting the shirt out of first is the way to go. Yeah. All right, hit over to short for out number three, and we will end the seventh now. Hernandez comes in and puts up nothing against us. Nice. Job done well so far. The Braves will leave in Jimenez for the top of the eighth. Nope. Good pitch, but a little too far out. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Let's go, y'all. All right. Well, we are in the south. There you are. <laughs> Love what he says. Nope. <laughs> oh, it's kind of that uh, one sneak through. Yeah, I had a good crack of the bat there, but Caber hit her directly to the third baseman. Let's see, Jay. Ball. Counts one and zero. Oh. Yeah. Oh man. That's a tough Jimenez pitch. Jimenez looks good, yeah. Jimenez, you want to be a national? <laughs> oh. Oh, I thought that was going to drop. It looked like it was weak enough to fall in. Yeah, I thought me might have a chance. Yeah. Ooh, hard oh. hit by Mountcastle. Stumbled at second. Oh! Takes it in. Legs All right. Out. Nice. Mountcastle improves the two to four on the day. The home run and now a single. Yeah, that was a tough pitch. Yeah. One for eight with a home run. It was a three run shot. <laughs> Oh, man. Manessa's watching 0 2 now. Off the plate ball. Ooh. That was enticing. It was. I figured he was going to swing at that. I almost went around on that. <laughs> oh, chasing it below <laughs> the zone. So Hernandez is out, and we call in Carl Edwards Jr., one of our problem children in the pitching rotation so far this year. Six innings played, 11-3-7 ERA. That is abysmal. The averages are high. My expectations are low. 
Carl Edwards. <laughs> I just want three outs. Those those fucking averages for opponents are so fucking high. How many gummies did he eat? Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> fucking lefties are hitting four hundred against them. Yeah. And we bring him in to face a left handed hitter. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. He was hitting he was hitting over three forty to start oh, today too. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> You know, when we go hands off and we spectate a game like this, there's times where I just, I really scratch my head over these decisions that the AI makes here. The management staff that puts in someone like Carl Edwards right now instead of a uh, Hunter Harvey. Yeah. Um, a one run lead to protect and they bring in the guy with the 11 plus ERA. But he gets the first strikeout and uh, one one against Vaughn Grissom now. So, so far so good. Yeah, small sample size, but we'll take it. Yeah. Let's just see his fucking ERA get back under double digits. Yeah, please. Immediately. Well, that's in. Mm, pretty good 12 curve, but just a touch inside. He does have a good 12 curve. I'll give him that. And there it is. Yeah. Second strike strikeout. Third okay. Good. Hard to come in and make a better statement than two strikeouts. Yeah, against the one and two hitter in Atlanta. Yeah. Nope. That's inside. Slightly inside again, but still a good pitch. Oh, man. That's just nice. Yep. I figured he was going to throw a 12-6 in the bottom corner, but he throws yeah. a little fastball. I thought it was a 12-6, too. Three and two. All right. All right. Can't get him to chase that. Count goes full with two outs. Oh, wow. Gets him to go around on the cutter under the zone for three strikeouts. Sits him down in order. Carl Edwards Jr. putting some mustard on it. I'm shocked. <laughs> All right, and the Braves make another pitching change now. A.J. Minter. He's pitched eight innings, and either he has never faced a left-handed batter or he strikes <laughs> them all out. Yeah, I don't know. Shit. Seven for eight on his save and opportunities so far this year, though. He seems to be the guy for them. Tries to hold this lead where it is. Again, the AI watches the first pitch fastball. Yep. <laughs> oh, hit hard by Teoscar, but it's well foul over in the left. The 0-2. Daintily popped in the right field. And that's an easy out number one. And in steps Shohei. Be the first left-handed batter to get a hit off this kid. Chasing that high no heat. business swinging up there. No. <clears throat> Ball one. All right. Oh, man. What was that? All right, so with two outs in the top of the ninth, in steps old Chappie. Hitting under 200. Yeah, struggling to start this season, but we know better days are on the way. Not like that. 0-2 to Chapman. 
What the Christ. fuck was that? <laughs> Get the <laughs> fuck out of town. <sighs> oh my god. Alright, so they put in their man and we bring in our man, Josh Hader. With an unbelievable stat line so far. 13 innings played, a 0 0.69 ERA. Nice. nice. <laughs> <laughs> 22 walks. Wow, man. Hader has been the guy. Oh, yeah. Worth every penny. Beautiful fastball up top. Oh, yeah. Can't do much with that. Not unless you're real early. Yeah, you need to step back almost to handle that pitch. Yeah. Oh! Oh, wow. Making him look like a fool with that slider and celebrating on the mound afterwards. Wow, starting that stanky leg motion early, Voight. Forget the hater. Even been delivered and he was vibrating. You don't even realize that hater throws Donnie and I off our <laughs> two seam fastball. Yeah, Tried to get ahead of it, isn't he? Shit, I guess. A little bit of a dangerous location. Gets away with it, though, and improves the count to 0 2. Oh, close. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. So, Hader gets pulled, clutching at his midsection. Oh, an oblique strain. Oh, shit. Ladies and gentlemen. Okay, wow. So, we bring in Erasmo, who's also been lights out through his four and a third. Wow. Uh. Hopefully, Hater's okay. Oh, man. We didn't need that. No. No, we sure didn't. It's now up to Erasmo. That's in. Ball two. Who may, may even be stepping in completely cold. Hater goes down mid count. <laughs> oh. Shit. Yep. Boyd will drop one into left field and get on first here. Now Another chopping motion. All right, as the uh, complexion of this game is now drastically changed with Ooh. Hater out of the picture. As the go-ahead run is at the plate in Marcel Ozuna. At least we don't have any speed at first base. I don't think Void's fast. <clears throat> so. Yeah, I don't know. Oh. Ooh, and we might be able to get out of this jam with a double play. Indeed, oh. that's what will happen. And the Nationals win. Erasmo will get the final two outs in quick fashion, and uh, we'll get an update on Hater here shortly. But we take game two versus Atlanta and clinch the series against them as well. George Kirby registers that win, and Erasmo is credited with that save. So somewhat of a pitcher's duel going on here, but we had a few clutch moments, and the boys came through, and luckily the uh, Mount Castle home run kept us up top. Oh, here's that great play from... <clears throat> Luis Garcia. Haters strike out, which he'll celebrate on, I'm sure. Yeah, wow. Fooled him big time. Final double play of the game. So Kirby had nine strikeouts over six innings. Wow. For the victorious Washington Nationals. No walks. Yep. No errors. They left four men on base. I think Strider had six strikeouts in his six innings. Yeah, he played a great game, too. I mean, pitching on display. Both offenses relatively inactive. A little bit of a pitcher's duel. He had some good defense. And, and uh, yeah. 
Yeah, it was a good game. Let's exit it and let's get that update on uh, Hater. I'm really nervous. We'll see what we're paying the doctors for. <clears throat> All right, abdominal strain during today's game. He'll be out for a few days. Well, that's not so bad. All right.